Hello all and welcome to tonight's Torah portion. Before I get started, I must say a blessing. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who has sanctified us with his commandments, commanded us, and grows ourselves with the words of Torah. Please, Adonai Elohim, you the words of your Torah in our mouths, and in the mouths of all your people Israel. May we and your offspring, the offspring of your people, the house of Israel. May we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Adonai, who teaches Torah to his people Israel. Blessed are you, Adonai Elohim, King of the Universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Adonai, giver of the Torah. May Adonai bless you and keep watch over you. May Adonai make his presence here tonight. He may be kind to you. May Adonai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. Today's read is Ezekiel 45, 16 through 46, 18. All the people of the land shall be obliged to give this offering to the prince in Israel. It shall be the prince's duty to furnish the burnt offerings, grain offerings, and drink offerings and at the feasts, the new moons, and the Sabbaths, all the appointed feasts of the house of Israel, he shall provide the sin offerings, grain offerings, burnt offerings, and peace offerings to make atonement on them on behalf of the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord Elohim. In the first month, on the first day of the month, you shall take a bull from the herd without blemish and pure, and purify and sanctif purify the sanctuary. The priest shall take some of the blood of the sin offering and put it on the doorpost of the temple, the four corners of the ledge of, of the altar, in the posts of the gate of the inner court. You shall do the same on the seventh day of the month. For anyone who has sinned, through error or ignorance, you shall make atonement for the temple. In the first month of the fourteenth day of the month, you shall, you shall celebrate the feast of the Passover. And for seven days, unleavened bread shall be eaten. On that day, the prince shall provide for himself and all the people of the land a young bull for a sin offering. And on the seventh day of the festival, he shall provide as a burnt offering to Yahweh seven young bulls and seven rams without blemish, on each of the seven days, and a male goat daily for a sin offering. And he shall provide as a grain offering an ephah for each bull, an ephah for each ram, and a hand of oil to each ephah. In the seventh month, on the fifteenth day of the month, and for the seven days of the feast, he shall make the same provision for sin offerings, burnt offerings, and grain offerings, and for the oil. Thus says the Lord Elohim, the gate of the inner court that faces east shall be shut on the six working days, but on the Sabbath day it shall be opened, and on, that, on the day of the new moon it shall be opened. The prince shall enter by the vestibule of the gate from outside, and shall take his stand by the, plate, by the post of the gate. The priest shall offer his burnt offering and his peace, his peace offerings, and he shall worship at the threshold of the gate, and then he shall go out. But the gate shall not be shut until evening. The people of the land shall bow at the entrance of the gate before Yahuwah on the Sabbaths and on the new moons. The burnt offerings that the prince offers to Yahuwah on the seventh day shall be six lambs without blemish and a ram without blemish. And the grain offerings with the ram shall be an ephah. And the grain offerings with the lambs shall be as much as he is able together with a hen of oil to each ephah. On the day of the new moon he shall offer a bull from the herd without blemish, and six lambs and a ram, which, he shall, which shall be without blemish. As a grain offering he shall provide an ephah with the bull, and, but in, and an ephah with the ram, and with the lambs as much as he is able, together with the hen of oil to each ephah. When the prince enters, he shall enter by the vestibule of the gate, he shall go out by the same way. When the people of the land come before Yahweh at the appointed feast, he who enters by the north gate shall worship, to worship shall go out by the south gate, and he who enters by the south gate shall go out by the north gate. No one shall return by the way of the gate by which he entered, but each shall go out straight ahead. When they enter, the priest, sorry, the prince shall enter with them, and when they go out, he shall go out. At the feasts and the appointed festivals, the grain offering with a young bull shall be an ephah, with a ram an ephah, and with the lambs as much as one is able to give, together with the hen of oil to an ephah. When the prince provides a freewill offering, 
either a burnt offering or a peace offering as a free will offering to Yahweh, the gate facing east shall be open for him. And he shall offer his burnt offerings or his peace offerings as he does on the seventh day, Sabbath day. Then he shall go out, and after he has gone out, the gate shall be shut. You shall provide a lamb, a year old without blemish, for a burnt offering to Yahweh daily. Morning by morning you shall provide it. You shall provide a grain offering with it. Morning by morning, one-sixth of an ephah, and one-third of a hen of oil to moisten the flour, as a grain offering to Yahweh. This is a perpetual statute. Thus the lamb and the meat, the meal offering and the oil shall be provided morning by morning for a regular burnt offering. Thus says the Lord Elohim, if the prince makes a gift to any of his sons as an inheritance, it shall belong to his sons. It is their property by inheritance. But if he makes a gift out of his inheritance to one of his servants, it shall be his to the year of liberty. Then it shall revert to the prince. Surely it is his inheritance. It shall belong to his sons. The prince shall not take any of the inheritance of the people, thrusting them out of their property. He shall give his sons the inheritance out of his own property, so that none of my people shall be scattered from his property. Blessed art thou, Adonai Elohim, King of the universe, who gives the Torah of truth instead of everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Adonai, giver of the Torah, Bruka ta Adonai Elohim, Melach Kalom, Ashna, Natan, Lenu Tredi Met Vaishye, Alom Natan Betekenu Bruka ta Adonai Natin Hatarah.